I want to help you make your choice on choosing the right instrument for starting at Lawson. I wanted to give you a little presentation to help you give, an, give you an idea of what is the best way to choose which instrument to play. We know this is a huge decision. This is a choice that you are making for a very long time, hopefully. Um, there are a lot of factors to consider and there are a lot of things that go into this decision. Prior experience is a huge part of this decision. This is a great thing to have and if you don't have it, don't worry. If you do have it, you can continue on the instrument that you are already playing and we can help you get even better at that instrument or you can even fix some mistakes that you've been doing over the years that you've been playing that instrument. Or your experience on an instrument could actually open up doors to other instruments in the band. Parent expectations is a huge part. We know parents want you to play certain instruments. It is important. However, what you, the student, want to play is most important. You are the one who is having to put the time on that instrument. If you are not excited about that instrument, you are not going to want to practice. So, if your parents are telling you about an instrument that you are not interested in, voice your opinion. You are the one who has to be willing to practice. We know money is a huge factor. We want to alleviate that worry. There are some instruments that we can provide, and there are some instruments that cost more money that you should know about. However, we do not want that to be a factor in your decision. Um, if there are questions that you have, if you have a limit, we can help you make that decision based on the money factor. Your interests. That is the most important part. We want you to be excited about band. We want you to want to play your instrument. If you are excited about your instrument, you are going to want to play it. If you are not, you are not going to want to play it. There are sides to how to make your decision. You should not be making decisions about your location in the room. The teacher is constantly roaming the room. We do not stay at the front. We do not stay at the back. Just because you think you're a flute in the front of the room does not mean that you will be the teacher's favorite. Choose an instrument based on what you are excited about, not what you think the teacher is going to pay attention to. The length of the instrument or case should not be a factor. We have lockers. You are not carrying it all across campus. We open the building up all day so you can practice here so you're not taking it all over. So if you are interested in a big instrument, don't let the case chase you away. And even alto saxophone, which is one of the smaller instruments, is actually heavier than most of the bigger instruments. It is actually one of the heaviest instruments in the whole band. So do not let the instrument dictate which, you, which one you pick. Prior experience should be somewhat of a factor, but don't let it be everything. Choose what makes you excited and what you are happy to play. Braces will affect all instruments. Don't let that worry you. If it's a huge tooth factor, we can help you, and that's why we have the interviews. Um, and then the assistance from teacher, do not think that we favor certain instruments. We don't favor anyone. We try to be as non-biased as possible. If you are there willing to learn, we want you there. This is a huge decision for you. You are choosing for many years to come, hopefully. However... Your choice is an even bigger impact on the group. A huge thing that is important to Lawson is having a balanced ensemble. We are famous for having a balanced ensemble. We want you to start with the best sound possible, and sounding like a real band helps us do that. We get to pick better music, and we get to hear what it's like to play in a real band with oboes and double reeds and low brass. We have specialty instruments at Lawson, and this is where if you have prior experience, it would be good. Instruments like oboe, bassoon, and French horn especially should have someone with prior experience. Oboe and bassoon, if you're a flute or a clarinet or a saxophone player, those would be great next steps. French horn, if you're a flute or a trumpet player, French horn would be a great next step. Trombone, euphonium, and tuba. You do not need prior experience. They're easy to start on the first try. However, um, not many people pick it because they think they are, because they're in the back of the room, they're not as favored. 
they get cool parts. Trombone is the only instrument in the band that can do a glissando, which is one of the most famous band sounds out there. Tuba is the support of the entire band. You have a lot of power being the tuba. And euphonium gets all these beautiful lines, but no one knows about it because it's in the back of the room. Not everyone should play flute, trumpet, or alto saxophone. Our band would be incredibly boring if that's all we had. So please think about all the other specialty instruments that could be an option. The more balanced our ensemble is, the better the music. If we have flute, oboes, bassoons, um, French horns, clarinets, bass clarinets, trumpets, trombones, French horns, euphoniums, tubas, we can play much cooler music than if we just had flute, clarinet, alto sax, trumpet. The school can provide a few of the instruments. Tubas and basses are always provided. Um, we have a system where the students um, can take the instruments home on weekends or days at school. They just have to bring it back so it's ready for class. Um, euphoniums, trombones, French horns, and cellos are provided if there is need. Um, our goal for euphoniums is, and cellos is to have a set at school that the students use and then they keep their own personal instrument at home so they're not carrying it back and forth. Uh, trombones, we have a couple. However, trombone is a pretty low-cost instrument to rent. French horns, we have a couple, but they are not the best quality, so I recommend renting your own French horn if you can. We have limited numbers on the instruments that you can rent, so please consider that when asking. We want it to be on a need basis. So, like I said, our school is famous for being balance ensemble. So what instruments do we need to sound like an awesome Lawson band? We would like to have 15 to 20 flutes, no more than six oboes, around 20 clarinets, absolutely no more than eight to 10 alto saxophones. Alto saxophone is a tough instrument. If you are not willing to carry that heavy, heavy, heavy instrument around, we do not want you playing it. Bassoons, we only have enough for two to four people. And we supply the bassoons. You do not need to buy your own bassoon. Trumpets, no more than 20. Trumpet is a loud instrument. We do not need any more than 20 trumpets. Around 10 French horns. We do ex expect some experience. If they want to play French horn, they're willing to put in the work. If your student does not have experience, we'd love to have them on French horn as well. Trombone, at least 8 to 10. We need a lot of support in those low voices and trombones are the people that help do that. And same with euphoniums, at least six to eight. We want plenty of them. Tuba, at least four. We gotta have a lot of those big, low sounds. And then percussion, at most seven. Um, you are required to have at least five years of piano experience in order to play percussion. And we can talk about that in your instrument interview if you're interested. Like I said, not everyone should play alto saxophone. It is the heaviest instrument and only play it if you are willing to carry it. So just think about what your impact on the group is. If you are absolutely in love with the flute and all you can think about is flute, play flute. If you don't really care, but you're interested in flute, trumpet, and euphonium, Start thinking about the euphonium. You'll be a much more helpful to the ensemble as a euphonium than a flute or a trumpet. If you have questions, you are more than welcome to contact the teachers. I'm Miss Spieler. I teach the Intermediate and Advanced Instrumental Ensembles, and I taught beginning band last year. Ms. Zhang has taught all the beginning instrumental, both orchestra and band this year, and you can email either of us if you have questions or concerns. We do ask that you sign up for an instrument interview. There is a doodle link on the Lawson Edline page and sign up for an interview time on either Thursday, June 9th or Friday, June 10th. If you can't make it then, there will be times in the fall. We want to have everyone decided before school starts. That is our hope. And we want to get the instruments in the kids' hands as soon as possible so they can start sounding good as soon as possible. So try and get it done sooner rather than later. Thank you for watching.